of scary. A little bit. I mean, look at that. Fishing Freaks and welcome back to the channel where the last fishing trip I went on I was literally in the mountains of Mexico and now I'm in the rolling hills of Oklahoma fishing some cool waters. Never been to this place. Gonna try catching some trout today to take home to the fam. I am absolutely shocked at the beauty of this place so far. I literally just rolled up. I'm trying to find a buddy of mine that camps up here every year and he's got a whole campsite set up where we're gonna be fishing, but I can't find him. I don't have any cell phone service, but the good news is this is absolutely beautiful. I got a good feeling about it. Let's go find my buddy Lance, and then let's go see what this uh, this river is all about. I went down that little dirt road and I figured out wasn't it, but I, I knew as soon as I saw these nice organized tents, it was gonna be my buddy Lance. My buddy Lance and his dad are out here doing some camping. How many other people are gonna join us? Uh, there's three, you got four more coming. Okay, so we got a little hut set up here. Seven of us tonight. Y'all are not gonna believe this, okay? Check this out. This is how Lance camps, all right? We roll up in here. Camp kitchen, and man. You guys remember Lance from the woodworking. So Lance built this cabinet <laughs> specifically for uh, camping. And this this is basically a kitchenette. Kitchenette? This is, this is new, it's new this year. And then we you built this sink as well. Yeah, you get your little, no water, no electric out here, hit the little button, pump goes. Well, there you go. Don't wanna waste it now. <laughs> got your tissues, got your, your soaps, you got your little burner over here, and a uh, little workspace, and then, uh, you know, put your stuff in there. Here, you got this, fish in this, there. Here we go, this is what we're going for, right here. Look, cleanly organized. Yeah. God, we're gonna have some trout tonight. Everybody needs some lance in their life. So, what's the fishing report? Uh, where's it at? White right here. White super duper. Caught them all yesterday on that. Okay, I actually have it, one exactly like that. Yeah. Found There's, it. Scotty's up the, up the road. They sell every color. Really? Five bucks pop, but they sell them. Oh, smart, <laughs> smart. Okay. So we're not we're not doing that fly fishing. Uh, we're going to be using light finesse tackle. It's starting to rain a little bit. It's gonna be a pretty video. I think you guys are gonna love it. So let's have a little breakfast. Lance has uh, hooked me up with some eggs and bacon and a little tortilla here in the kitchen. We're gonna eat that and then we're gonna get out into the waters and do some camping, y'all. Primitive camping out here up in Oklahoma. It's gonna be fun times. I'm gonna try this super duper right here. White rooster tail. My buddy Lance is, uh, he's telling me this is the juice what for now. Yesterday. What worked yesterday ain't always the deal. That's 100% true. We got some other lures here we're going to experiment with, see what works the best. Uh, what's the limit per day? Six. Six trout per day. Okay, here we go. Look at you, you got your vests. Oh, yeah, Let me feel that rod. Let me see what kind of little whipper you're working with oh yeah it's whipper snappers here so we're fishing for stocked trout today they literally come in here with a truck and they just dump rainbow trout in here kind of like filling a corn feeder for the fishermen i did the same thing yesterday swear same oh is it good luck i don't maybe. you hooked your, you hooked your net on the same snag don't change it up lance got a bag of trout yesterday filled his goal I have no idea how to fish for trout. Never done this. I don't even know what this lure is supposed to do. I know if I was a trout, it'd be right there. Like right behind the rocks, you know, sitting in the current breaks. That's what I would do if I was a trout, but I am not a trout. I'm a human. So I guess we're just going to kind of walk around here and see what works, you know. We got all day to catch six trout and do some camping. Trying out a new GoPro today too, guys. I have no idea what this is gonna be like. I tried it a little bit in Mexico and didn't seem to, uh, the audio didn't seem to perform that great. 
Looks like somebody cleaned a trout right there. So this may not be the juice. I'm gonna walk up a little bit, see what's going on. I'll tell you what, where I first drove up, I did the intro to this video, was way down there and it looks great. So I may have to take a gander down there as well. But I'll tell you what, I'm, uh, I'm feeling the power here. It's a little bit different than being in my big bass boat. Feel the raw currents, the textures of life. Did you catch one yet, Lance? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Let me see this little sucker. Slimy. It's a tiny guy? Yeah, slimy. Oh, slimy. Yeah. All right, so I need to cast here then is what you're yeah, telling me. Not bad. Yeah, look at that guy. Lance is saying the slow retrieve is preferred. When you're fishing cold water, you gotta go slow, I guess. Oh, I got one, Lance. Lance, I got one. Oh my gosh, I gotta let him fight. Oh, look at that jumper. Fighting him on the tiny, tiniest of rods. This is my crappie rod that I normally use. My Yampa River which actually is meant for trout, but I've never used it for this purpose. Yeah, let me get this hammer on net job. Oh, yeah. yeah, baby, yes. Okay guys, first one on the stringer. Thanks to my buddy Lance with the uh, lured vice hookup, spot hookup. Pretty much just told me where to cast, how to retrieve it. I'm not too proud to not listen to my friend. All right, I guess I'll just let this guy swim around here. So, oh gosh, I got another one, Lance. He's a runner. You got one? Yeah, I got one. He feels small. Oh, there's the power, baby. Taking it easy with the trout. It's a decent one, eh? It's hey. a keeper. Hey! Yeah, man. Like, they like that slow retrieve. It's my first trout, it's a 2019. Oh, shoot. Come here, buddy. You know, they actually have a lot of fight. They do, no. They do. Yeah. Look at that. There we go. Oh, dude, look. He had a fly in his face. He broke somebody off. Oh, he did? Yeah. yeah. I think I need to keep him. That's a decent fish. Man, I have, I have just not caught many trout in my life. But this is pretty cool. That fish right there has got another fly in his face. Just on that concept alone, I'm gonna keep him. I think that's really neat. Okay, throw him on the stringer. There we go, there's two trout. I might get a little bit more selective with my size now, since I've got two on the stringer. Oh, snag. That's not good there. I think I might have myself my first break off of the trip here. Six pound test breaks pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, it does. Okay, first lure loss of the trip. That was my only lure of that category. So hopefully that wasn't juice. I'm gonna reach into my little, my little dangler box here. LFD hooked me up with some, some gear last night. We got some old trout lures and different kind of stuff. So let's see if a slow presentation is key. I may try a little spotted rooster here. I really like the way it looked down there. Take my trout and head on down. It's kind of scary. A little bit. I mean, look at that. This looks like a good spot to fish. I guess I'll just give her a little waterfall dangle here. I think it's too fast. Let's see, if I was a fish, I would do some work right here beyond the rock. That's where I would be. Oh, got it slammed right there. Monster bite. Oh my gosh. Yes. Come here, baby. I know you got to be a good one. He absolutely hammered it. Good and good and look at that beautiful trout full of color. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. 
Not a giant, but beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Love the hit. That's a male trout there. Look at the colors. That's pretty neat. Bigger mouth. The male trout strikes. Definitely a better hit too. And he just made a weird noise at me, so. That means he's the dominant one. Wow, these things are like snakes. These are not like bass. I hope none of these pools are like super deep. There's a lot of rocks right here. Ooh, someone's, see someone got in that tree. Hoping I don't like step on a hole and then just go straight to the bottom. Okay, here we go. Here it is, here it is, come on now. I had a very severe learning lesson on catching steelheads one time on having to hit the exact right spots and have the exact right line and presentation. This is nothing like that. I, I enjoy this more where I can cast a little bit more like bass, like bass fishing and really see those targets and use a rod and reel instead of a fly. Uh, but just look for where those eddies are. Look for where the big rocks are and the, the current's welling up. You can see your target. And you know that there's less current behind those rocks, just like, you know, fishing for bass in, in a lake, offshore, uh, for deep water fishing, or you know, where is the ambush place is going to be. Buddy Lance is going in, because he's, he's being a pansy. Oh God, I got smoked. Smoked right there. Good little hole. See if we can throw in there again. Almost had my fourth one right there. Just have to slow her down here. Come on, baby. Come on back. I know you were raised in a farm. You can't resist a little white spinning lure. Looks nothing like what you were fed, probably, but you're just curious with your little fish brain. One more cast at this hole. I'm gonna walk down a little bit. I got my two bites. I'm gonna keep following my rule. Oh gosh. Absolutely smoked. Dang it. That was my, was my one bite in a good area. Right behind this little leafy situation. Yeah, I was just fishing it a little too fast. Could have been a small fish. I'm gonna do it. Oh, oh, yep, it's fucking deep. Yep, very. And I just, my hand just went down in there. Since I got hung out here on the spot, it made it worth it because I hooked it to another fish. Are you a keeper though? That is the question. Pretty small. I don't think I'm gonna keep this guy. He hosed it though, wow. This is right where I had another bite. Let somebody else keep this guy. See ya. The cold and wind and rain is setting in strong. I'm not letting it deter me from getting my six fish. Oh my god. Right. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, He's there. He's there. Oh, look at that jumper. Woo, baby. That's <laughs> the trout rod, man. Oh. Baby, this is fun. It's fun catching them on this light stuff. God, they, they actually pull pretty good. They jump, they make runs. It's the current too that makes them seem a little bit bigger. Oh yeah, it's a keeper there. Good. He's fighting me right by my feet. That's pretty cool. Don't get to do that bass fishing every day. Okay. Oh, I got him on the outside. Not totally hooked. Oh no, 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 no. Come here. Don't you get away now. Don't you get away. Slide you through. And you are on the stringer, my friend. Going home to feed the family. I have to say, whether it is bass fishing for fun or cat fishing or trout fishing, just going after food, white bass, crappie. I love it all. I really do. 
If I didn't, I would not be standing in the middle of some freezing rain. Just had another bite right there. Oh, there he is. Got him. Got him. Ooh, that's a, that's a really nice one. Really good run there. This is my biggest one I've hooked so far. Ooh, really running good. Oh, boy, he's running right under me. Now, this is a fight right here. Oh, I would have told you he was a lot bigger. I may not even keep him. And I'm not. Uh, I would have said that was going to be the giant of the day. Trout on, baby. Little guy. Hit me right in the waterfall zone. Whoa, hey, buddy. Easy now. I hate that you can't really grab these guys very good. Yeah, I'm going to throw him back. It's just kind of skinny. Not that much bigger than the ones I have, but looking for a nice plump one. Y'all, it's been good so far with the four fish. I'm going to switch to something different now. I'm going to go with a float and fly because the way these fish are setting up, you throw up current, you let it go down, that slower sink. I noticed that that's how I was getting bites. Like there, there was a lot of fish that bit my lure I did not actually catch. I saw a guy with a fly rod catching like every cast with that presentation, throwing up 45 degrees, letting it come by with the current, ding, getting them. So I could probably catch two more just doing exactly what I was doing, but I want to slay. And I gotta catch six more tomorrow. I gotta go home with 12, that's, that's my goal. So we're gonna camp out here tonight. We're gonna clean these. Let me show you what we're dealing with. Those are our trout. We're gonna leave those on the ice and we're gonna keep dangling, baby. Don't stop till we get six. Then we get to celebrate with a beer. That's the rules. Hooked up, bagging. Went back to the spinner though. Well, I don't know if it's big, but I'm probably gonna keep it because I hadn't had a bite in a little bit. Oh, hey now, hey, hello. Look, we got ourselves a runner running all around. Oh yeah. I think I hooked it in the back. Maybe that's why. Back hooked. Maybe it was meant to be. Maybe we were meant to meet. I have nothing really to compare you to size wise, so looks like you're going in. First one of the afternoon catches. Take you, put you through the gill. Can unhook you now. You are what is called caught, my friend. Here we go. Can't fish it wrong if you're fishing it slow. Want it to almost get caught in the rocks, but not to get caught in the rocks. I need one more fish, y'all. One more fish in my day of trout fishing will be done. Oh, got him, got him, got him, got him. Yes, right here in this little pool. It's a really tiny one though. So at this point I can choose to keep this fish or keep going. A couple hours left in the day. God, they are slimy and sneaky. Let's do a size comparisons on these dudes. Eh, they're about the same, honestly. I'd rather have a big one though, a bigger one. I think there's another one out there. Might be a little stronger than that guy. Just gotta get it in the right little pool. Okay, I got another one on. I've had a bunch get on and come off. I think that I'm gonna keep this one because they're just getting tougher by the day and my hands are getting freezing cold. And this is a decent fish. This is gonna be my last fish of the day. The keeper, fighting in the current, strong. Trout like highly oxygenated water, so this is, this is where they like it. You're barely hooked, so please don't come off. 
You're fighting hard. Fighting like you want to get away. Oh, yeah, I got cold hands, and you're about to slip out. Take this, I'm gonna slip it through your gills. Okay. Checking in with Lance. You little, little Lance has got his limit as well. We are limited, baby. He switched to the spoon. The spoon was killing it. I mean, because you only had one when we came back out here. You went in earlier because you That's got cold. Eat. Yeah. A little Tell pansy. Talk. Well, I had, to, I had to get the fire going for you. I, I got to eat sometime. <laughs> That's right. We're about to get the party started. Rain is stopping. Can't feel my hands. Got fish. Doing the right. Ooh, that thing is. Yeah, you it's see more it? like a spinner. It is, right? And I kind of. I was going a little faster because I didn't want to uh, lose it. I lost two rooster tails with the white. I'm out of white. I lost like five fish up there. Like they, they would get on for a couple seconds and then they just they don't, come you off. You them on the lip. It, uh, you give any kind of tension off, they get off. You got to have that tiny ass little rod. That's the key. It's Look fun at that though, spoon. Man. Now we got to eat them. Boink. Are we going to eat them? Yeah, now we got to clean them. We got to eat some of them. We got to clean Let's them. Let's do up. it. Let's clean them up and, uh, I, did, I didn't really plan on doing a catch and cook, you have, but you have one uh, let's do it. Nothing better than eating trout by the river, a couple of cold beers. It is time for the celebratory yellow belly. Down by the riverside, a little Coors Light and a rainbow trout. Successful dangle today. <laughs> God, it's a good day in the outdoors. Still cold, my pants are wet. I got a leak in my waders somewhere. Nothing like a Coors Yellow Belly by a campfire in a streamside. Ooh. Cheers to the outdoors and to you, Fish Freaks. Mm. Good day. Got our limit of trout. We're about to go clean them down here. We got a nice creek behind us. And uh, we're going to just take the guts out. Clean those a little bit different than uh, the white bass and catfish I've showed you guys. It's not going to take all the... Uh, I'm not gonna flay them basically. We're gonna we're gonna keep most of the meat on the fish because trout are so small and they got tiny bones. Then we're gonna cook some up tonight and then tomorrow we're gonna fish again and carry some home. This place is awesome. I cannot believe it is only a few hours from my house and it reminds me of Kentucky where my dad used to take me camping there when I was a kid when we lived there uh, in the hills of Kentucky. They got some great campgrounds up there and uh, this is nice. This is up here in Oklahoma and uh, everyone that's ever driven up through Oklahoma knows that it can be a lot of just flat land, but there's parts of Oklahoma that are just pristine and great outdoor places to go hunt and fish. Man, that fire is toasty. My hands are warmed up now. Time to get that knife out, get to clean this fish. Okay, y'all, we're sitting here by this beautiful stream and we're gonna clean some trout. I'm not gonna clean all of them for you on the camera but wow those are slippery actually that one's my buddy so I'm not even going to clean that one <laughs> maybe he'll get, get me another beer so the way these trout work take my little knife here we're basically going to go from the anus right there the anal fin go right right in there go right under the skin and go up towards the chin Just like that. I got a real sharp knife, so it goes very smoothly. And then from there, basically just split them open kind of with your thumb and you get all the, the innards out. Pull that lower intestine out. Okay, intestines, gone. Head, give it a little crack here. Gone. Give it a wash. And that's a clean fish. On to the next one. Trout are pretty easy to clean. Alrighty y'all, we are done with the fish cleaning process. I know I didn't show you every one. I do want to show you something important though when you are cleaning these trout. Ooh, they are super easy. But what you do want to do, let me just zoom in so you guys can see is you want to, uh, once you cut the head off, you can do it in either order. You can cut down here first and then cut the head off or cut the head off first and then run down from the anus down up. But the important thing is to make sure to take your thumb like this and push 
because there's going to be a little black line that runs up through here. That's all the blood. The blood just kind of gives it a little gamey flavor. That's usually what happens in all fish. So you do that, and then you're clear, and you're good to put it in your mouth. I'm going to load these up in my little OtterBox cooler thing. And I may store them tonight, we may eat some tonight, I'm not sh really sure. Uh, I'm gonna go talk to Lance and see. I think we're just gonna cook them over open coals, just primitive style. And that ought to be pretty good. There's nothing better than uh, some fresh fish, some cold brewskis, some good friends, just the great outdoors. If this rain will hold up, we're gonna have a perfect evening. Coals are getting just right on the fire, y'all, and it is time to put these fish on. This is how humans used to do this thousands of years ago. Still doing it today, baby. This is uh, two of my smaller fish, so I think the possession limit is 10, so I'm gonna oh, you actually- You put them all in one thing, huh? Yeah, I did, I doubled them up, man. Two little slices of uh, butter in each filet on the inside, and then a couple of lemon slices with lemon pepper, and just wrapping that in tin foil. Wrap that up, keep the juices inside. And then all we're gonna do is just move that over. Yep, give him a little dangle. Look at look at Lance's, by the way, and then look at mine. Well, <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna be enough. We'll that was pretty out. much like our our uh, our homework when we were at Weatherford Junior College together. Lance was perfect, and I was not as perfect. By the way, hopefully you live in one of these awesome states that does this. Uh, we're from Texas. We came up to Oklahoma. Oklahoma does this as well, but. Texas does it. You might actually have a place near you that stocks these trout. They stock them in ponds. They stock them in local creeks and rivers, even in southern states where they're not going to live year round. They stock them in there in the winter months, usually October, November, all the way through February. And then you can go catch these trout and they're, they're made for you. Your tax dollars go whenever you buy a, uh, a fishing license, it goes towards this right here. Part of it is to, uh, to actually stock these rivers, ponds, lakes with these trout and then people go catch them. You can go catch them, you can. And then cook them up because they're delicious. Why would you catch a trout and release it? Unless it's a trophy of some sort, I don't know. Maybe I feel the same way about bass. You know, people doing that with yeah, bass. Yeah, that's a given though. You know. At least it's large enough to. The largemouth are kind of nasty, but a trout, oh, pfft, going on the grill, baby. My man Lance has got some serious big green egg skills as well. Don't have that here. This is a I'd rather tiny, little tiny egg. <laughs> yeah, this is. Give her a little, little dangle. Just little a little, test bo dangle. little bone in there. It's a lot of bones in there. Mm -hmm. Well, I usually take my fork, go right in the bones and pull down. Sometimes you can pull the backbone straight out if yep. you cook it long enough. Yeah, yeah these, are, these are done. All right, caught just hours ago. Nothing better than that. Okay, fish and freaks, this is what we do it for right here. The dangle for the deliciousness. A little extra zest on here. Woo -wee. Delicious fresh trout right here. Wow, that is good. Simple butter and lemon. Wow. The key is taking your fork and really scraping it down. I'm going to show you guys a close-up when I eat this next filet. That was about, I'm going to say, 30 minutes or so. This is my buddy Lance. He's already done with his. <laughs> Whoop. They're good, buddy. So i take this one out right here. See, that sucker just almost peeled right out. You take your fork, 
and you just scrape it away from those bones. I can actually do it with my teeth here. You're good to go. Using the most out of that trout. I mean, they're just too hard to fillet. You don't want to fillet these guys. Right, I'm gonna eat one more of these fish, and then it's time to just enjoy the fire with my buddies and think about where we're gonna to fish tomorrow. My next mission is to actually catch some of these and uh, take them home to OSG. She said that she wanted some. I'm gonna leave y'all on this delicious note. Y'all go ahead and subscribe to the channel right here, hit the notifications, the ding dongs, so you don't miss it on the next one. We're gonna catch some more of these. I'm gonna take them home to OSG and see what she can do with them. Uh, and then I'll probably put uh, her recipe on the Lake Life channel. We'll do a, a whole video on cooking them there. And uh, you can check out that channel down below. Me and Stephanie and Emmy all together at the treehouse. Golly, you guys, what an incredible fishing world. Just a few videos ago, I was all the way down in Mexico. Today, I'm up here in the hills of Oklahoma catching trout and eating them. There are so many fishing opportunities out there. I hope you guys are getting you some, and I'll see you on the next one.